A lack of staffing is the reason that survivors had to leave the county to receive their rape tests. The exams were approved to happen here in Santa Cruz back in February, but the pandemic delayed the opening here on the campus of Dominican Hospital. A drive over the hill into San Jose and then possibly an hours long wait is how all sexual assault survivors in Santa Cruz used to spend what is likely the worst day of their life. On average, it's maybe six to eight hours, but that's sort of on the lower end. I once accompanied a client um, over the hill and it was an 11 and a half hour process overnight. Delphine uh, Burns, a survivor herself and advocate with Monarch Services, after. says the long trip doesn't stop people from reporting their rape, but it adds to the trauma. There's already so many uh, barriers to reporting and, and sexual assaults are really underreported crime because of some of those barriers. And the new exam center in Santa Cruz is not only closer, but the women's charity organization Omega New says it's focused on making survivors feel more comfortable. Nice comfortable waiting room. We have blankets, we have toiletries, we have you know just that cup of coffee or cup of tea. You don't feel like you're waiting in an office or in a waiting room like a, taking kind of the clinical part of out of it is for them where you don't have that white coat syndrome where you can just maybe relax and calm down for a minute. Every year there are 60 to 70 rape exams processed in the county. Now, eight local nurses trained to perform the forensic examinations are on call 24 seven. Localizing the process also frees up time for sheriff's deputies who typically drive the survivors to the clinic. The sheriff's office says you can still get the examination and choose not to have a criminal investigation. We will keep the exams uh, indefinitely, but they don't have to include law enforcement if they're not ready. Because of the pandemic, Monarch Services advocates were communicating with survivors virtually. But now that the exams are local again, they're able to meet in person. Reporting in Santa Cruz, Drew Andre, KIO1 News, Channel 546.